you have a 1993 to 1998 beautiful nice looking expensive Toyota Supra but it will not turn on <laughs> just like this let me show you all right so does your Supra do this nonsense turn the key and it just clicks once see if you hear that you hear that it just clicks clicks once if you have a super that does that watch this video i'm going to show you how to fix that it's the most annoying uh but simple fix all right so first things first on how to fix this starter issue one obviously jack your super up and uh, figure out how to take out the starter it's a pain in the butt yes do it from the back get the bolts out and uh there you go starters out so once you have your starter out this is what you're gonna need so you need two of these little starter rebuild kits these are the uh, part numbers All right, this is what you need. And uh, you're gonna need a, I believe it's a seven millimeter. Get these bolts out here. So this is your starter and you got a little cover plate here. You got three bolts. You're gonna take those out. to unbolt this take the bolts take the nuts off of here and on this side as well just move this little plastic boot out of the way push that out of the way and uh, undo these and undo these Sure you get the little washer out too. All right, that's this. Throw this plug, and we got one more. You can pull this out right here. Careful, it has this spring here. So whenever the starter tr uh, clicks this thing kind of pushes in and spins and it needs to trigger those things right here i could just remove this left side and it should be fine but i'm gonna go ahead and just you know re redo the whole thing so it could just be all new all right and in order to remove these the bolt here just gonna press it in and remove it through the inside you're gonna have another little washer that comes out with the little plastic piece just Leave that aside. Then you got another O-ring. And uh, slowly it comes right out. See, there it is. Now, on the inside, you're going to have this wire here. So be careful you don't damage that. And you're going to remove the little plastic thing. And then this right here. This is the contact. This is what's damaged and or pretty much worn out. So we're gonna replace this. Now now that I'm looking at it, it's since it's all greased up, if I were to clean it and you know maybe kind of make it look like this side over here, it could probably still work again. Um, but I'm not taking any chances. I'm not doing this again. That's why I decided to get these kits. So as you see, this one is the one that we just took off. This is for the other side. See, and it basically comes with everything that you removed. Everything except for uh, this nut right here, which kind of, which is what holds this wire in. But everything else is brand new. So we're gonna start off with this piece that goes on the inside. And then we're gonna put our contact, you know, the wire that's inside there. You can put that back in. 
and we're gonna put our bolt in. Now on the other side, we're gonna put our O-ring. Then you got your plastic piece and your washer. And your nut. All right, and that's pretty tight. Now you can take the little wire out of the grommet over here, place it on top, and the nut that you took off, the first one, you're gonna put that one right back on top. And tighten that up as well. Move your boot over and cover everything up. And that's pretty much it. That's one side done. We're going to repeat the same thing on this side. So we're gonna push our bolt in, push it through, and this side over here, it doesn't have any wire. It comes out all like one piece. Yeah, this stuff's nasty, man. Oh my God. All right, so there it is. It comes all out, and we'll open up our new one and assemble it. These are all the parts that come in there. Just follow, basically just rebuild this one with these new parts. So you pop this out and then there's an o-ring that's what that new o-ring is for we'll get the new one put the new o-ring on it now we're gonna put this in through the hole just like that then you put your plastic cover over put your washer There you go it's nice and clean now just be careful with these two wires you don't want to break those now you can put this piece back inside I mean, there's a hole in there it just goes in you can't really mess that up see and basically that's how it works the starter engages and it turns over now you can put our cover back on and install our three little bolts You make sure you don't do that don't over tighten it because then you're gonna break the stupid bolt whatever it'll be fine everything is going well until that so just don't over tighten it just make it snug then at the end you can get yourself some uh parts cleaner and just wipe your starter down and uh you're all set you should be able to put this back in the car and get the car fired up all right Y'all know I'm not going to leave y'all like that without showing that it actually worked. <laughs> uh, just real quick though. So you you guys remember that plunger that you took out of the starter? Uh, just make sure you wipe that down and uh, just kind of clean it down with some brake, uh, brake cleaner or maybe like with the wire wheel. Just make sure it's clean. Let's see how I did. I guess I did a good job with the transmission swap. <laughs> hey, you guys hear that? Exactly. You don't hear nothing but the exhaust. Zero clutch chatter. Really, really nice. 
super short. That's first, second, third, fourth, obviously fifth and sixth. I gotta adjust the clutch a little bit. It is releasing a little bit too high for my taste. I'm gonna adjust it so it can release a little bit lower. But there you go, you guys. I did a good job on the transmission swap, it worked. Go in reverse. It can move under its own power. Now, I would really. Now, I would really like to take it out and do like a POV video for you guys, but. I don't know if you guys i don't know how many of y'all remember that the brakes on this car are really bad it's the basically it's just the factory na brakes i mean they're they're fine for like normal driving and stuff but i don't know just i just don't like i don't feel it gives me a bad feeling I, I need to upgrade them plus i mean i already have them in the garage so yep there you go you guys you guys learned how to rebuild a starter and you saw that i uh did a good job on the transmission swap all by myself everything and that cold cold floor damn it <laughs> race brake rebuild you guys we don't make any excuses around here one day i'll own a shop and i'll have a nice lift and stuff but for now i'll put in my time i'll go through the struggles and uh the good times will come all right guys there she is able to move under her own power i'll continue to get busy and uh do everything else hopefully here within the next month i should have the car completely finished and tuned so catch you on the next one